Everybody, I'm Lance Brown. We're here live from Beaver Stadium in Happy Valley. Side of Michigan's 28-16 win over Penn State. Huge win for Michigan, obviously, as it sets up a possible Big Ten East Championship game next week uh, when Ohio State comes to town. Ohio State, obviously, kicking off against Michigan State uh, this afternoon. So Michigan's got to kind of wait and see. But uh, at the end of the day, the big news here, Michigan 4-0 on the road in Big Ten play. Closes out a perfect road season in the league. Uh, and does it, you know, sort of the way it did all year. We talked earlier in this week, we thought, you know, maybe the defensive line uh, was going to struggle with depth, uh, with Ryan Glasgow out. Maybe these guys were going to struggle in terms of physicality. Uh, Michigan racks up 10 tackles for loss, sacks Christian Hackenberg four times, and just absolutely beat him up all game long to a point where Penn State couldn't move the football. Uh, Penn State finishes with, I think it was 207 yards total. Um, and, and was aided basically by penalties. Michigan had 13 penalties for 117 yards. If it wasn't for that, Michigan dominates this football game. Jake Rudock became, became the first quarterback in Michigan history to throw for 250 uh, in three straight games, which I thought was kind of an interesting stat, kind of capping what has been an amazing turnaround for him. Um, and really an amazing turnaround for this team. I mean, Michigan comes from a team a year ago who could not win a game on the road, could barely win games at home, was a sloppy football team, was not a very disciplined team on the field, and our 4-0 in Big Ten play on the road, and our one, you know, if Ohio State can get through Michigan State, our one game away basically from uh, possibly playing in the Big Ten championship game. So this is this has been quite a deal. You know, the players talked today about how it all started in the in the winter. Jim Harbaugh's pushed them as hard as any, anyone's ever pushed them before. They've answered the bell every time. Uh, toughness, this is a tough football team. They play with grit. They don't stop playing. They play hard. Uh, they play together, and I think that uh, you know whatever happens from here on out, I think that's that's the story of this team. This is a tough program again. There's toughness on this team. Jim Harbaugh's reinstalled that, I suppose, after it kind of went away for uh, seven years. Uh, it seems like it's back in terms of the toughness that they play with. Uh, you know whether or not they can get through Ohio State, whether or not they can cap this thing off, I guess remains to be seen. Uh, but a tough football team who plays its heart out every single week. One more to go. Uh, this didn't look like a tired team to me last week. I wondered about it. This week they looked ready to ready to play football. So. Uh, one more week, uh, you know, if, if Ohio State's unbeaten, if it doesn't really matter. Michigan's going for that 10th win and possibly a chance to play in Indianapolis. They're still in that playoff mode that Harbaugh talked about. Uh, quite a turnaround. It's been a great season for Michigan. Nine wins is something I don't think many people really realistically thought was uh, going to happen, but uh, there it is. So a uh, huge win for Michigan here today. They now sit and wait. Uh, they'll probably hear the end of that Ohio State score, I imagine, by the time they fly home. Uh, and they'll find out if they've got a date with uh, Ohio State for a Big Ten title. So that's it from today. Uh, Brandon and I will be back on Monday with Jim Harbaugh's presser comments, and we'll be uh, stick with MLI for the rest of the rest of today and throughout tomorrow to see if Michigan and Ohio State is going to be the big one. So either way, it'll be a big game. It could be the biggest one in years. Uh, so with that, uh, we'll talk to you guys later.